I'm Detective Krista Hedstrom, and welcome to this edition of Good to Know. We've all seen the backups, and we've all been stuck in them. A serious collision can block or even close a roadway for an extended period of time. Our goal is to conduct a complete and thorough investigation and reduce our road closure time. We recently got a new tool that helps us do our job safely and faster to get traffic moving again. Let's go take a look. We do have an update on our collision northbound three at Gorse. The State Patrol now saying there's a possible fatality involved and the roadway will be closed for at least two hours for their investigation. It's going to be a tough drive there. We've got no good detours along that stretch of Highway 3. When someone is hurt or killed in a collision, they and their loved ones deserve a high quality investigation. There are, of course, legal issues, but just as importantly, families want to understand why their loved one was lost. We owe them answers. In major collisions, drivers aren't always able to tell us what happened. The physical evidence becomes critical to finding a cause. State Patrol detectives spend a lot of time locating and mapping evidence looking for that skid mark, gouge in the roadway, or a piece of debris that tells the story. Typically with a total station, we're, we have to shut more of the roadway down because a lot of times you have to physically be in the road with a prison pole. And for safety reasons, we would totally block the roadway off or have it down to, like say, a two lane or three lane to, to one lane. Enter the Trimble TX-5. It's a rotating laser scanner that catches everything at the scene, even small items detectives might not notice on a dark rainy evening. Where two detectives with surveyor's tools might spend a couple hours mapping only a few dozen points in a collision scene, the Trimble spins on its tripod and catches millions of points. It also takes pictures, and software can be used to stitch the points and pictures together for a 3D view of the scene. Best of all, the Trimble does its work in about half the time and requires only one detective to operate. Once I've set it up and it's running, I can then walk off and go photograph the scene, interview my witnesses, uh, track down witnesses, talk to the uh, parties involved in the collision if they're still there, and it frees up my time to do other things while the machine is working and doing its thing. In fact, for some collisions, it won't be necessary to close the roadway at all. The Trimble's computer brain knows the difference between a stationary skid mark and a passing car. It can eliminate the passing car from the final picture that detectives will use in court. Wow, it looks like State Patrol got that final lane open at the crash in Gorst already, and traffic is starting to move well again. It is going to take a while for the backup to clear, but with all of those lanes open, it should be over pretty quickly. Each Trimble scanner costs approximately $48,000, and we're currently seeking funding to purchase additional units for statewide use. For motorists, this is a very good deal. DOT estimates that for every minute a lane is blocked, it takes approximately eight minutes for that backup to clear. By reducing our road closure time by even a little, it pays big dividends for motorists who are commuting to work, a doctor's appointment, or even your child's little league game. I'm Detective Krista Hedstrom, and that's good to know.